Hi everybody, in this video I want to review how to calculate the earliest start time, the latest start time, and the slack time based off of an activity graph with durations. So this is the activity graph that we will be looking at. If you notice, the activity graphs are actually directed graphs. This is where your data structure and algorithms actually has a little bit of a role to play and why it was a prerequisite for this class. So here we have an example of a short directed acyclic graph. And we're going to use this activity graph to calculate our earliest start time, latest start time, and overall slack. So let's get started. So as you can see in the top right, I have our activity graph that we are going to be finding our earliest start time, our latest start time, and our slack. So first let's start by writing down our activities. So we have our activities and then we have the earliest start time, the latest start time, and then our slack. And we're going to find our earliest start time first and then we'll find the latest start time and then from that we can calculate our slack. So we have A, B, C, D, E, and F. So the earliest start time for A is day one of the project. Now let's move down to B. The earliest start time for B is three. And that's because the earliest start time for A is one. And then it takes two days in order to complete the A to B task. So the earliest start time for B would be three after those tasks are complete. Now let's look at C. So the, if the earliest start time for A was one and the earliest start time for B is two, the duration between B and C is two. So the earliest start time for C is five. Now let's look at D. So the earliest start time for A is one. The earliest start time for B is three. The duration between B and D is three, so the earliest start time for D is six. So now E has multiple paths. In order to start E, both C and D need to be completed. So on the path for E, if we were just following the path for E, we would see that we go from A being one, then we have our B as three, our C is five, and then that would be eight. So we have eight as one of our start dates. But let's follow the other path. So in order for, if we went A, and then we went to B, right? And then we go to D, which start date is six. Well, we actually can't start E until day nine. So the earliest start date that we can do for path E is nine and that's because so the path from c to e's earliest start date may be five days but the path from d to e's earliest start date is six days so this is what ends up making our earliest start date for e being nine days because both of these paths have to be completed in order to start E. After E, we can look at F, and our earliest start date for F is 10. So now that we've calculated our earliest start date, let's calculate our latest start date. So for A, the latest start date that we can do for A is the first day of the project. If we start later, we end up delaying the entire project. So the latest start date is 1. For B, this is the same idea. We finish up our tasks and when we start D, we need to start it on day three. Otherwise, we delay the entire project. Then let's look at C. If we look at C, our earliest start date was five. So if you remember when we were calculating our earliest start date for E, that our earliest start date was nine days. And that was because C could actually get started before D. And although the path from C to E and D to E are the same, the fact is that C's task can get started before D's task gets started. So actually, 
the latest start date for C is six days, and this will not delay our project. D's latest start date, if D got delayed, it would delay our entire project, so the latest start date for D is six. And then we can now go to E, our latest start date is nine, and F, our latest start date is 10. So now we've calculated the latest start date. So now let's do our slack. So slack is our latest start date minus our earliest start date. So our slack is zero, zero for B, for C it is one, for D it is zero, for E it is zero, and for F it is zero. So from this, we are now able to find our critical path. Our critical path is A, B, D, E, and F. That's because we have slack on C. So there you go, this was a short tutorial for calculating earliest start date, latest start date, and slack on an activity graph.